the, the concept of, for example, loving your neighbor, which is this neighborhood is brought together with, <coughs> is as significant as it is stated for its significance in the Bible. And once Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recites the same thing. He says, when Gabriel came and talked to me about the love of our neighbors, I was under the impression that they will have to inherit things from me as well. That neighbors were so precious, they could even get some of my inheritance. Now imagine the significance of your neighbors around you. So if these days could be an excuse to bring you together to your neighbor, to get, help you understand each other and spend more time together, then that means a good event. I was talking with Adam um, about some help that I hopefully can give to the mosque. And I, I was moved to say, are you doing anything on Christmas Day? Because I didn't know of anywhere that was. And I thought, if anyone's doing anything, it will be the mosque. And that was, too, that was true. And because of that, I said that I'd like to help. So, and, and I think that is true. I don't think there is anywhere else doing something like this on Christmas Day. And I think that's really important. Um, I live in Tottenham, which is about an hour away. So I walked uh, today to come along to the event. Um, my family are all in Scotland. I work here in London, so I wouldn't have had anyone to spend the day with. And it is quite lonely in London um, if you're by yourself during Christmas. So I really wanted to come along and I've had such a lovely time today. Um, I never thought that I'd be having a Christmas dinner in a masjid, in a mosque. And hear the adhan, the call to prayer afterwards, which is lovely. It was a, a nice community feel. Um, it felt like a big family. I find this place, I've been coming here a couple of weeks now, the hospitality, the love that um, the, the people have shown, especially the imam, I've made a friend, so good, and it's very caring, and the love and respect, it makes me feel, you know, happy to come. And when he invited me, I said I will come, because, he, you know, he has a great respect for, for me, and I have a great respect for him. And I'm happy I met them during the Ramadan, where we all fellowship and interact together. And that has really opened my mind to the Muslim faith. And I've been coming to Rumi Mosque for the last five years. And I've been very happy with all the <clears throat> invites I got. And also wherever I used to go, they used to ask me to come down. Um, and. Overall, I've been quite happy with most of the staff and the members, and they were very helpful as well. Well, I feel really pleased, first of all, that it's a Muslim organization that are heading this um, event, uh, and they're taking this initiative. I think it's really important for the purposes of, of dawah, of propagation of Islam. To, I'm a Muslim woman myself, to mm -hmm. teach people about um, that Islam is, is about kindness and looking after our neighbours. Um, so it's really good that they, they've got this initiative to look at for people who are lonely. Um, and it was just lovely to see people from all different faiths and backgrounds um, come along today. And even a police officer as well was here. The event today was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. I am a regular attendee of this masjid. Um, I do work just across the road, Edmonton Police Station. Um, the Imam of the Masjid, Adam, is very supportive. Um, also, he likes to get the community involved. Um, there has been other events that he has invited us. Unfortunately, due to um, business uh, needs, we can't always attend, but he's always keeping the police involved in it. Um, we're very happy to see that the local community gets together, regardless from what race, religion, ethnicity, People do get together and it has been, today's event has been a great event. I feel happy to come here because I know, um, you know, I feel belong. When I come here, I don't feel left out. You know, everybody's welcoming. You know, I feel very welcomed. I feel very loved. You know, I feel appreciated. And, you know, it's nice, the smile. It's the hospitality, you know, and it's caring. And he said, Daphne, come. And when I came in, he gave me a joy. He said, Daphne, you made my day. And that's nice, you know. I like to be uplifted and I like to uplift people. And that's nice. So, you know, it's nice to feel valued and I'm really happy. I probably get more out of volunteering than I give, to be honest. So I, I value those opportunities. And I think this is a really important space. And the people that come here are incredibly generous and I, and I like being part of that. What was the highlight of today? <laughs> 
the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking I, it always. <laughs> eating the chicken. I can't. I'm, I really don't know how you cook chicken like that. And I, I do a lot of cooking, oh. and I, I have got no idea. Mm. And, it's, and it's a piece of magic. So I will remember the chicken, and I will remember the wonderful group of ladies, including yourself, that came in to help to take the food out. Because if it stays in the kitchen, there's no point. Um, and that's great to see people helping like that. I love it. Highlight of the day was making connections with lovely people I'd never met before, um, and I've kept in contact with them. We've, we've swapped uh, contact details, so I look forward to seeing them again. So that was a, a big highlight for me. The highlight was I enjoyed the food. I've never been <laughs> anywhere after, after you know, Christmas Day without my family. So I left my family and I came here. And the fellowship, the interaction, you know, talking to different people and, you know, the love, the atmosphere, mm -hmm. the interaction is very important. Instead of, it's, a, it's nice for people to come so you don't be alone, because some people would rather be alone, but it's nice to be amongst people and interact. Mm -hmm which is good, and the food was really lovely, one of the best I've tasted. Normally I'm not a good eater, but that was beautiful, I enjoyed it. I was surprised actually, when they said that uh, somebody will come to pick me up, uh, even though I don't live very far, so I was very, very happy. The highlight of the event was obviously the uh, welcoming, and as well as the amount of people that t turned up, the food was great. <laughs> um, it was nice to see everyone getting together, everyone being very happy, um, especially with the organisation as well as the masjid. People, this masjid, what I find it is very opening, very welcoming uh, to people from all different walks of life. I would recommend anybody to join the Rumi Mosque because it's one of the most fundamental questions which I found today to be associated with other people to come to know what the Rumi Mosque is doing. Adabas, Asalaamu Alaikum, Namaste, Namaskar. My name is Hamida and I just love, I just love, love Rumi Mosque. And I love Brother Adam. He is so good to us. For me, this place has become like a second home. I, I look forward to coming here every Tuesday. A beautiful breakfast is laid out for us. Beautiful Turkish tea, beautiful bread, toast, whatever we want, boiled eggs. We just love our breakfast. And for me, as I said, it's like a second home to me. And last night when Brother Adam rang me and he said to me, Hamida, come and celebrate Chris, uh, this festival with us. I was over the moon because my children have gone, grown up. They have their own life to lead and they are so busy with their in-laws and very often at this time of the year I tend to be on my own and I feel it and I don't tell anybody. I don't tell, tell anybody, I just try to keep it to myself. So I was just over, over the moon when I was told to come here today. You made my day, Brother Adam. I love you, I love you and I love you.